Now let's suppose I wanted to do 4 plus 9. So I have 4 plus 9. Now, you know, you have to look. Where can I add 9? There is no 9 in sight. I have 5 on my right, but that's not enough. I need 9. So, but I have my entire left hand, and I have, you know, up to 90 I have on my left hand. But I don't need all that. All I need is 10. So what I can do is add a 10. And just like when we added 5, when we wanted to add 4, adding 10 is too much. We really want to add 9. So what do we do? We have to minus 1 from the right hand. So 4 plus 9 will add 10 and take away 1. And if you look at your hands, you will see the answer, 13. Now, let's continue with this example. Suppose we had 13, and I wanted to add 9 to that. What would I do? I add 10 and minus 1. Again, if I had 13, I, wa I want to add 9. I add 10 and minus 1. So I have the answer, 22. If I wanted to add 9 to that, I'll add 10 and minus 1. And notice I have the answer immediately on my hands, 31. Okay, so all I have to do is do the manipulation of adding 10 and minus 1, and the fingers will tell me the answer. Now, suppose I had to do 4 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 quickly. Notice how fast you can do that. 4 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, the answer is 31. If I wanted to add another 9 to that, plus 9, answer 40. Okay, so that's how we can add 9. Of course, it comes from the fact that 9 is 10 minus 1. What about 8? Suppose I had, let's say I wanted to add 4 plus 9 plus 8. 4 plus 9, to so add 10, take away 1, plus 8. Add 10, take away 2. Okay, and at that point I have the answer on my hands, 21. So again, 4 plus 9, add 10, take away 1, plus 8, Add 10, take away 2. Answer, 21. Okay, and again, this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. And, you know, a lot of the arithmetic that you will do will involve using both hands. Uh, you just use basic principles. For example, if you wanted to add 7, uh, you can add 10 and minus 3. Now, if I had 1 plus 7, okay, no problem, I have 7, so I can add 7, and then if I wanted to add another 1, I add 1. But now suppose I wanted to add 7 to that. Okay, I have no more fingers on my right hand, so I add a 10 on my left and take away 3. And that's simply because 7 is 10 minus 3. So 10 minus 3, and notice I have the answer, 16.